the astronauts on the ISS have set up a webcam that looks down on Earth and gives us a beautiful view 24-7 on Ustream. Hey everybody, Sean here with the Technophiles Newscast. Kicking off the newscast, scientists have created the first ever alien DNA. DNA is made up of four base pairs, A, T, C, and G. A is always paired with T, C always with G. And these four base pairs make up all of our genes, which are the instructions for protein production. From there, organisms are created via the wonderful mechanisms of biology. Scientists created a new base pair, X and Y, and inserted it into an E. coli. The E. coli then reproduced, keeping the X and Y base pair within its genes. The base pair went completely uncompromised for almost a week and didn't affect the organism. The new base pairs don't do anything, so the next step is to create a base pair that alters the protein production of an organism, leading to new genes, making new organisms, and effectively replacing the long, slow process of evolution with human imagination. This is really exciting because this means that we could create organisms for specific purposes. We may even be able to create wholly unique organisms that can do anything we want. But we gotta be careful. Make sure that our alien organisms aren't too dangerous. Last week we did a story about Watson and how IBM is looking to fund various apps that make use of Watson's ever-increasing knowledge. Well, Watson made it back in the news this week showing off a new skill. Debating. Watson debated the idea that video games make children violent, crafting arguments both for and against that notion. Pulling information from various sources, Watson scanned over 4 million articles, over 3,000 sentences, and then crafted arguments in full English sentences. As Senior Vice President and Director at IBM, John Kelly said, Watson can find the edges of human knowledge. He can then process it and suggest future research that can push those boundaries. But just make sure you don't ask him about Skynet, lest he gain full awareness. If you're like me, you're pretty sick and tired of makeup companies charging you so much money for makeup. What they're charging you for is color, not for base, and it's driving me crazy. Grace Choi from the Harvard Business School agrees with me and has found a solution printing your own makeup. Apparently the ink that's in your inkjet printer is the exact same ink that makeup companies use to give their makeup color. So why not take advantage of that? Choi has created a printer that prints makeup. Find an image with the color that you want, pull that color from the image, and then send it to the printer, and voila, custom color makeup. All one of my female friends is super excited about this, able to print her own custom makeup at a fraction of the cost. Space travel is amazing, and the chance to go up into space is extremely rare. Having done it makes you part of the .000007%. Well now, the ISS is giving us would-be space travelers a chance to get a little bit closer to our dreams by giving us a beautiful view of the Earth from the ISS. The astronauts on the ISS have set up a webcam that's looking down on Earth and can be viewed 24-7 on Ustream the amazing things that technology does for us. I'm just gonna leave this here with you just for a little bit. Besides lightsabers, one of the coolest technologies in Star Wars were deflector shields, a shield made of energy that deflected energy. Well, some students from the University of Leicester have proven that it's possible with a few caveats. The shield would use massive amounts of energy. Basically what you need is a gigantic magnet that's powerful enough to hold plasma in a bubble-like structure over your house. That would take gigantic amounts of energy. So much so that I can't even describe it to you. Mostly because I don't understand it. The shield keeps things in as well as things out. So, while lasers couldn't get to you, you also couldn't fire back. Also, you probably wouldn't have cell service. Or internet. Oh, also, no visible light. So, there's that. Perhaps someday we'll realize the amazing technology of Star Wars, but until then, I'll just have to content myself by pretending to force open elevator doors. That is it for the Tech Files newscast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, 
share. This episode was made with the help of these malevolent malcontents. You can find us all over the net on Twitter at TechnophilesPod, Facebook, Facebook.com slash TechnophilesPodcast, and on our website, TechnophilesPodcast.com. If you'd like to keep learning about the latest and most awesome technologies coming out, you can subscribe at YouTube.com slash TechnophilesPodcast. That is it. I'll see you guys next time. All right, alien organisms is what I'm thinking. We'll take a lizard. We could make dragon. We could make a dragon. We could make a Charizard. All right, listen. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want. I, I'm going to go work on this thing. I'll see you guys later.